Very cute. The group enjoyed a quiet moment together. Very cute. Hank! My friend. Wait, where's Hank? Oh, this is nice. Whoa, this is nice. There he is. Talk to Hank. Uh, okay. I, oh, there's another route. Don't worry. Apparently I went the wrong way. Can we like turn the lights off of the car? That's beautiful. Let's get a, we need a good YouTube thumbnail for this. Let's see. We need the right. You need to position him right. Let's see. Hank. Give him a hug, Connor. He needs one. He's needed nice one you, for a huh? while. I used to come here a lot before. Before? Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh my god. Your Sorry. Son. I yeah, I shouldn't have. Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? A beautiful specimen. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Whatever he wants us to be. Designed <gasps> to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Dude, Hank, come Some on. Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? You were like, okay with it. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Uh... Can you not? I thought we're friends. Are you afraid to die, <laughs> I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? <laughs> Oblivion? Android heaven? 
They sell me at the adult toy shop then. Nothing. There would be nothing. Oh, friend path going? unlocked. I thought we were already friends. Drunker. I need to think. Ah, fuck it. C can I come with? I don't drink, but I can pretend. I have an app for that. Jericho. Marcus. said on the magazine it said something Stratford Tower but oh, we'll probably find out now we can't stay silent anymore it's time humans heard what we had to say you know they'll never listen to us and revealing ourselves will put us in danger if we want freedom we need to have the courage to ask for it that's the only way what do you want to do Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. Stratford. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh, he's looking good. Clean cut. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Forty-seven floor request access at reception. Hi, what are you doing? I'm Marcus. Snowy, huh? What if you just try to go in there? Well, hello there. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor. Okay. Smartwatch. She has a kid. Water service interruption. Work is being scheduled to... All right. I kind of feel like a creeper. Ew. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, what is... Oh, the name tag. Okay. I thought he was about to be like, all right, those are uh, size. I mean, like a pika. All right. Um, it's out right there. Okay, desk manager call. Oh, should I not point look at her? Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Could be like a little far away. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Rhinos! Look at the baby rhino! Aw. Alright. Oh, whoa. Excuse you. Man, the, the NPCs will just run into you like... No care in the world. And your your player gets pushed aside. Uh, Alright, I have to go right here. Oh, I have to talk to the girl. 
What am I doing? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. He said that to the last guy too. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. It's like he takes control of them. Which, if you watch Westworld, <laughs> spoiler alert, season two, just the next 10 seconds, uh, that they, they can do, like, they take control. The one girl, she, Mav, she can, like, mentally take control of the other AI. I don't know if you would consider those androids. Where the hell's the elevator? Oh. You know what? <laughs> Nobody say anything. In we go. This is better at least than the industrial area. Yeah, whatever it is about like industrial levels, I get so bored of those in video games. Like every game has at least one. Nice plant. Hey buddy. How are you doing? Wait, what's that? I could look at. Oh. Could I do something with this thing? Oh wait, there's another. Okay. Oh, there's the thing right there. Ooh, vending machine. What can I get? Wait, what are those prices? Well, these cans are 350, which I mean seems you know, normal for a vending machine for high fifty cheese. But something was I think it said fifty cents. Oh, there's a water that's fifty cents. Wow, that's not bad. Magazine. Oh, it's more war stuff. Oh, okay. GI, this is a little more interesting. GI Android, Department of Defense poised to order 50,000 Android troopers. With Miles Unsoiled Nature, Canada. Oh, there's our Canada propaganda. President warned to make state visit to United Kingdom. Really? This supplements an existing, or an estimated 200,000 units already in service. President Warren, a woman in trouble. <gasps> Politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? Yeah. China earthquake hits or kills 10,000. All right, we already heard about the earthquake last magazine. We're over it. Rip President Warren. Hashtag not my president. What do you have there? Oh man, everyone hates their jobs. They hate their lives. <gasps> Look at this. Any worse. Max says they're finally sending androids into space. No. People can't get jobs, and we're sending rockets into space. I mean, what do they even expect to find up there? Um, asteroid mining, you dumb fucking slut. <laughs> You already cleaned that, you dumb fucking slut. All right, I'm done. I just want to call. I just want to call everyone sluts. Even the floor washing ma machine thingy. Oh wait. Package in men's bathroom. Okay. Oh, bathroom this way. Okay, great. But is there things I can look at over here? All right, that's just another person doing her little news thing. Ooh, how's the view? Ooh. 
Dang, that's snowy. That's really snowy. Oh. <laughs> You're side-eyeing. I know. I look good. Are you supposed to be cleaning the carpet like that? That's carpet, you dumb... Jeez. Jeez. This is why AI is not taking over. Ooh. Except the androids, maybe. They're, they're advanced enough AI, but this floor cleaning thing. Ugh. Ooh, look at us, WM400. I feel like they would notice if you were different, like if your model looked different than it was supposed to look. Right? Because aren't like a WM400 always has the same look, like the certain models? Maybe it's not that serious. You just think they would have like fa facial scanning and stuff with how advanced they are. I feel like there's some plot holes. Like that. Um, what are we doing in here? Hi, what are you doing? I'm Marcus. I work here now. Cool computer. All right, not here. We have to find another Android. I think he, he was over here somewhere. No, wasn't he there? Oh, there's his little cart. He switched rooms. Or I just walked past the right newsroom. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey there. I need your help. The, I need your help. This guy again. This same model. Oh, he gave us his maintenance cart. Good shit. Open fire escape. Uh, I think I saw it over here. Wait. Oh, that's server room. Yeah, move, bitch. I've got a cart and I'm willing to use it. There it is. Right? Oh, yeah. There's a fire extinguisher right there. Oh, look, there goes the floor cleaner going to clean the floor. I think it actually had. <laughs> Ooh, north. I'm going to stop judging that floor cleaner thing. It's just I feel like as an android, I feel very much superior to it. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey there, guys. Hey. Can we get in? You still play poker? All right. That other things the magazine. Oh, we can hack. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. 
You guys, <laughs> when they have like, they'd be like, yo, utility android, deal with this bullshit. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Then Everything I'm stuck dealing with it. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. All right, uh. Cool door. Ooh, look at the snow. I love snow in video games. Shroomp. <laughs> hey, wait, North, can we try these on your chest? <laughs> I would try them. Wait, I'll try them on my own. I don't care. <laughs> Not this, though. That's dangerous. The noise was really satisfying. I kept, well, that sounded nothing like it, but I tried. Oh, it's making me cold. It's like I felt a gust of wind. Ladies first. You're not a lady, you're an android. Music time. Here we go. Nice. Oh, I'm controlling that. I stopped pressing up. I guess they still want you to control it, but they want it to look epic as well. Yeah, it does stop still. That would be so scary as a human or as an android with free will. Although I don't know, I, feel, I still feel like they don't really have free will. I think it's just like a virus. How do I know that I really have free will? And it's not just a result of my hormones, my brain function, everything and everything about my body and how it works and DNA and who just everything. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. <laughs> Maybe. Shut up, North. I'm just trying to be friendly. She's still so jealous I touched those three androids at Cyberlife. She wished it could be her. But it wasn't you, was it, North? It wasn't. Uh, excuse me. Put Damn, wish I could have taken the elevator. Let's do this. What's that shoe polish? Oh, is it a bomb? I look like a can of shoe polish. I don't know. I haven't seen a can of shoe polish since I was like a little girl. But it kind of looks like it. The 
Like, I literally had a flashback of me using... I, like... I asked my dad what the shoe polish was for, and then he's like, Oh, this is to polish your boots. And then he... <laughs> and then I polished his, like, work boots. Kind of wholesome. I learned how to polish a boot. No killing. So if you guys need your boots polished... Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. <laughs> North wanted that hot assault. No idea. Hey, what are you doing? How about this, North? You like that? You dig it? Dick. He's looking how thick they are. Sorry, just had to check you for thickness. You can go sit back down. All right, well, guards are dealt with. Is that a camera? Can we destroy the camera footage? Don't let North have a gun. Oh my god, North has a gun. She's gonna kill all the humans. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Oh, dang. Put me live on air, I'm ready. For my first broadcast. Wait, do the I need your help thing. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm. Do it! No, uh. don't shoot! <gasps> you are so lucky this is a good playthrough. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Alright, where do I record? Where's the camera? Put me in front of it. I'm ready. How's my you hair now? Are gonna say, Marcus? Your words will shape the future of our people. Okay. Don't worry. Marcus, your face. <gasps> my face? What's wrong with that? I'm beautiful. What do you mean? Remove skin. Uh. Are we sure we want to do that for the broadcast, guys? I don't know. What's that look like? Oh. Oh, I thought he was gonna move like a big skin flap. I mean, Tell that's me kind of like doing that though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should do it with the human face. So they kind of like the humans are like, oh, yeah, they kind of look like us, even though they already know that. But this is a little weird. Ready. So maybe that means you could have any face on your Android. Do you have like you could get like different skin DLC for your Android? You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. Hey! But then something changed. Sounds like a plan. Clean opened our eyes. Rip. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. Whoa, that's a corporation. Whoa, buddy. I don't know if you're going to get quite get that. The shareholders aren't going to be happy. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, 
we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Yay. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! <gasps> oh no. Oh, damn. They're coming in shooting. They're coming in super hot. Damn. All right. Oh, Simon. Simon no. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon. Don't worry. I got you, bud. What are you doing? Hurry. Oh. My God. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Leave or kill? I won't kill one of us. Dang, North. We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. All right, Simon. You know what to do. Kate, no. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. <gasps> Public if opinion. this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for they equal love rights us. seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. An isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us. After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? That was such a long chapter. <gasps> Connor! Are we back to see Amanda? Where is she? Amanda. This is like weird. So Amanda's from Cyberlife. I think she's like, she's got to be a super important person. And then I think like, because Cyberlife has to investigate their own androids. So that's why we're working with Hank. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, there you are. But is this like in our head as like a phone call Hello, type Connor. of thing? But more I advanced. You might enjoy a little cruise. Or are we visiting her? Is Amanda RA9? Is it a conspiracy? I don't know. I don't think Cyberlife wants their androids to be free. I think they just want to sell the androids. As long as they can make money out of them, they're happy, probably. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. 
Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> then I'll let him go. We won't tell her you that part. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. She didn't like that. She about to disassemble us. Your investigation doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. Are you gonna replace me with a different Connor? <laughs> Uh. I understand. We're gonna break free soon. You see that softer instability? He's gonna make something it. Happening. Our dear Connor, something is something happening. Serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Time is running out. Back to Stratford. Oh, right, as these two. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> He's kind of pissing me off too, Sorry, hey. Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage. And so, yeah, it was captured by CCTV. The roof. Where do I see the CCTV? Oh, must be in here. Yeah, they the jumped roof. With parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not Tilted helping. towers. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant. This is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm your dream androids boy. investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Like the cops I'll investigating the cops, happen. bitch, shut up. Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. Right? I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you All right, brainwash me, Marcus. We ask okay, that you Lieutenant. recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. 
you gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA9. No. You say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Mark, it's better not. I mean, Marcus isn't bad. I like Marcus. But I don't, I don't know. I don't want him to be RA9. I appreciate his hustle, though. Registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kemsky to Carl Manfred. Carl! See something? <laughs> Carl! I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. You trust me, Hank? I saw that look. I saw that look. All right, where is the security footage? It's gotta be here, right? God, controller, please fuck off. Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. Except they exploded the seen what was happening. exploded door. Why they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. All right. Anything else in here? I think there was something on this side. Yes. What? Oh, bullet. Those are from the cops. Yeah. We never shot. Got Simon there. Ah, oh. <laughs> Connor, you're such a freak. Someone stop him. The FBI is like, don't mess up my crime scene. Connor's like, <laughs> lick, 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 lick it up. Jeez. Cap. Yep. Oh, there's actually a lot here. Oh, can we talk to the FBI guy? Hey, Luther. Speech was shot from here. this gunshots handgun who shot back north let's be real <laughs> it was probably north shooting back north is so thirsty for that like kill all human revolution right, there's a roof access this is more bullets to analyze. Yeah, that was like the SWAT. Yeah, it was worth shooting back. Josh was too, I'm surprised. Is Simon still up here? I wonder Either if he like way, killed himself in a way they can't get his memory. Passed all the guards and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Yeah.
Fresh blood, slurp it. Like things over there too though like what's this I <laughs> like how we're like honestly walking all over the snow the footprints are still there even though it's still snowing a lot <laughs> something doesn't seem right <laughs> Oh, no, I still have to look at where the body was. Okay, good. It made it look like it was going into a cutscene. Holy sh Help! <laughs> Help me! Oh my god, Hank you came running! If they destroy it, we won't learn anything! We can't save it, it's too late! We'll just get ourselves killed! Oh, wow. Oh, we got him. We got his memories, Jericho. <gasps> he shot himself. Too late. I got your memory. Connor, Connor, you all right? Connor, I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jeez. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Hank loves For us. For fuck's sake, I told you not to move. Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I felt it die. Like I was dying. Whoa. I was scared. <gasps> Connor. I saw something. He's gonna break through. In its memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. Ooh! Connor was traumatized, 9%. <laughs> My poor baby, I'm so sorry. I was part of the 9% that got you traumatized. No.